Again, given some parametric curve, okay, can you find the length of that curve? And that's what arc length is. Okay. Um, the nice thing about it is it brings time into it and your x and your y. It's all kind of integrated in there. Okay. So, um, You have your time constraints A to B, and then your X and your Y, so this would be something like C of T equals X, Y, right? We have to know that X prime and Y prime of T exist and are continuous. <coughs> yes, so that's the star for our plane. And A to B is your time, your time constraints. So what do you think the uh, formula might be? Remember arc length? Like integral absolute value, or integral square root f prime of x plus 1 is the other one. So um, it's going to be x prime of root x prime of t, x prime of t times y prime of t? No. What was the other one? Is that prime of x plus 1? So x squared, right? Oh, it was squared? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Is it? It's very similar, not exactly the same, but very similar. Why the derivatives are both squared. Why isn't there a plus one? Um, if you do the parametrization of the curve, f of x, right, so we take f of x and make it a parametric, okay. plug it in, the one will eliminate, okay. and it'll spit that out. Does that mean if you're doing circumference, you just add pi in front of the other one? Isn't that what the other one was? There's another one alongside our plane. Or surface area. Surface sorry. area. Yeah. You said pi in front of it. 2 pi? 2 pi r. Yeah. Is it r? It would be 2 pi and that would be the radius. Mm -hmm. yeah. The thing you have to watch out for would be that curve back up to the top. Yeah, that's would mess with you. I'm wondering why this still works. But, um, okay. It should still work. Well, it worked for r. Or yeah. for we don't have to worry about surface area with parametrics. We're not. Okay. It would for our, our plane anyway, because just because you move back with the same distance, if you move back, then it's going Okay, forward. so let's say you have a circle. A different point. It's still the same distance. Uh, and what's the format of a circle equation for parametrics? Isn't it x sine x? Y x equals. X equals a plus r a squared. A squared. Yep. And y equals b plus r sine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do a circle at the origin. Radius r. I'm not going to give you a number for r. Okay. So what is the um I thought what circle is going to use this No, that's with the second. So what is the right, so zero two pi? Right. I mean the square root of. Uh, so what is a in this case? 
Did we get louder? Zero? Yeah, so x <laughs> is r cosine theta. What is x prime? Uh, it's negative sine theta. Or no, it would be negative sine theta. R, r negative sine theta plus. Yeah. Would r still exist to affect the constant? Sorry. So this is going to be theta of r sine theta squared. Okay. Is your derivative squared? Mm -hmm. And then what's the y? Is r sine theta, right? R cosine theta. So we have r cosine is the derivative. Okay, that is going to be um, r squared, right? Mm -hmm. And that's r squared, right? Yes. So can I just put it in r squared out? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take the r squared out. And I have sine squared plus cosine squared left, right? What's sine squared plus cosine squared? Isn't that a negative sine squared? No, because we're squared here. It takes oh, the okay. negative out. It isn't that an identity? Yep. Tangent. Oh. One. One. Eight. That identity is one in trig. Okay. Hey, okay, look how easy this is getting. Alright. So we have the integral from 0 to 2 pi of. just like having a 2 here. So our antiderivative is r theta from 0 to 2 pi. <coughs> so the answer is? 2 pi theta. 2? No. Nope. r 2 pi? Two but pi 2 pi in for theta. So r 2, two pi r. 2 pi r. Does that look familiar? <laughs> yeah. The math teachers will. That's the circumference formula for a circle, right? Wait. Yeah. So calculus just did a full circle from the <laughs> calc to here. And the a circle a equation. Oh. Think about it. You're a circle. Like <laughs> it wasn't yeah. even an intentional pun. Still Radius R from 0 to 2 pi <laughs> is one full evolution. What are you calculating? Your circumference. circumference, which is I know. Fail two pi r. Why could we just have done that instead of we do all that? Because I mean and I wanted to laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have done if someone pointed that out? Laugh at us. Okay. What would you have done if someone pointed out zero to two pi as a full revolution? You would have done that. Maybe. Yeah. Something. I don't know. Um, I'm done. Laugh seriously and made us do it anyway. Some of these problems will come down to being a calculator problem. Or sometimes they'll just say, what is the formula for arc length of this parametric? Does that make sense? Okay. Because they are long problems, sometimes they just ask you for the formula. Okay. Um, okay, now. How do we calculate speed? Uh, isn't it the The derivative of r plane. Yeah. r plane is a position function. We have a position function, so derive it. Let's see you have the derivative. Right? So you just get the speed equals. I forget the squares. So 
There you go. And so that's your speed equation in parametric terms. Okay. Is that double prime? Nope. Is it x prime t squared? It's probably the same root. So speed and arc length, you really have to memorize one formula, and then the other one falls out from it. <coughs> Particle motion problems are very popular. prime is 2, right? Mm -hmm. okay. And what's y prime? T the I has over 2. Bring it down. <coughs> subtract 1. Oops. Okay, so now we can plug in our formula. Oh, yeah. 2 squared plus <laughs> 2 root So I just square it first. So the speed at time one is two. four plus nine fourths. Questions we can ask here is something like, what is the distance traveled of the particle? Can we just leave that as the answer? Yeah. It's numeric, right? Yeah. How do I calculate distance traveled for parametric? The arc. Right? Yeah, it is. It's exactly what it is. Because you have an arc, the distance traveled will just be the length of it. Okay. So use that formula. <laughs> And we already have our setup, right? Because this is the same as what's inside our claim. So our um, what are our time constraints here? Go from zero to four. Let's say zero to four. That. So, um, would the um, 
This is distance. Would the speed formula have been first for the parametrics? Because this is just the integral of it. You could do either one. Okay. So there's a distance traveled. This is the arc length, right? It's just an interpretation of arc length. So make yourself a note here. Okay, what about displacement though? Take a look at that curve. Displacement is the distance between endpoint. There, there. How in math do we calculate that? Distance formula. Yeah, there you go. It's a distance formula. Oh wow. Yeah. So yeah, what's kind of nice here? Displacement in parametric terms is just the distance formula between the first and last point. Uh huh. So at time zero. What's our point? Zero, one. And at time four, what's the point? Eight. Nine. Yeah. yeah. You do the distance formula between those two points. because it's 128 and 121 square root of the You line. talking, Hunter? You're digging a bigger hole. I buried myself. Let's not joke. <laughs> Holes already dug and the rest of the I'm just waiting for the next to make it so We're still designing the tune stuff. Again, it's important that you are doing these AP problems. Just review. Okay. Um, let's just do Tuesday.